Hi, and uh, welcome to, to this episode of Frank and Mary in Northborough. And here with me, you everybody knows her more than me, is Kelly Burke, my friend, the Senior Center Director here in Northborough. We have a terrific guest, Christine D'Angelo, and, and we're gonna, she's gonna talk about quite a few things in just a second. But thank you for joining us. As you know, the purpose of this show is to help you as seniors here in Northborough understand and be aware of the programs and the people that you should really know because they're connected to your lives. Now, one of these people, of course, is Kelly, but everybody kind of knows her. But I wanted Kelly to talk about this program that is now going on and has started fairly recently at the, at the Northborough Senior Center um, and about your guest, our guest, right, um, who was doing the program there. And so if you could talk a little bit about the program and how it showed up and, and, and where you are right now and where okay. you want it to be. I'd be happy to do that. Yeah. As you remember, Arthur, we started this journey in 2015. And when we sought to Doesn't become, that sound sick? We started this journey. Yeah, it was, it was it so was, long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we yeah. went on a journey. We, we did. went to Minnesota That's to right. learn That's more right. about Act on Alzheimer's. Um, and we brought that back to Massachusetts. Um, and we worked closely with Marlboro and Hudson Senior Centers and the directors there to bring that back. And we named our journey um, Come to be Dementia Friendly. And it, it, it was fabulous because it got the community involved. Now and really, and really thinking about how to take care of me right. and you when, at the point at which we're living in the town and, and, and we're having a little trouble remembering things, but we still want to stay in town exactly. and, and live a safe and a happy life. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. did. We, it was grant funded as well through Bay Path Elder Services. And, um, you know, hopefully other towns are going to be picking it up and, and bringing it to their town. Of course, grants end. And we wanted to, to take this forward with our own idea. Yeah. And so Hudson had a fabulous program called Daybreak. And Daybreak really is a respite for the caregiver. Yeah. And it provides a quality afternoon for somebody who has dementia or Alzheimer's. For you know, the caregiver, meaning like the spouse or the or child. Child. Somebody who's working with somebody who's got some memory loss. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And, it, and which is a full, almost a, even more than a full-time job. Right. right. Yeah, that's exactly right. So it's yeah. a nice to provide that time off for... Yeah. Um, for that person to go get a haircut or do some shopping or maybe go home and take a nap um, because it is, yeah. it is a full-time job. And the nice thing about Daybreak, again, is that it provides a really nice afternoon for the person with dementia. It's yeah. uh, quality uh, activities and yeah. it, it really helps the person from isolating at home, which is one of the trademarks almost of having dementia or Alzheimer's where you don't get out and socialize because... Because you're embarrassed. Right. Right? right. Both you're, so, you're embarrassed, the care partner, and you don't want anything to bad to happen. Right. Yeah. yeah. So Daybreak is a safe place for that. So I'm, I'm thrilled that the three towns, again, could work together, Marlboro, yeah. Northboro, and Hudson. And Janice Long, who's the director in Hudson, could provide so much um, experience in doing the program. It was her brainchild. Right. As well as the sense that it works, you and know, that works. you're not trying something going, oh, you know, right? Is it, right? Yeah, it does flu? work. And, that right. and that's why we were really excited to bring that because we had had some, um, some times at the senior center where if somebody would come in that had dementia, a I lot remember, of... I remember you telling me a story about that. Yeah. Exactly. There was, there was a woman that came in. Yeah. She was new to town, but she had some, um, you know, signs of dementia. And one of the other ladies at the senior center kind of took her under her wing. Yeah. And she could provide some direction for that woman, but then she didn't know where to take it from there. And she came to us and we knew that this was the right thing to do. Right. Because we had people in our community who may be sitting at home watching TV where they could come in, be with friends in a safe environment. And, and so that's what we've done. And that's a good point because other, otherwise, whether it's the caregiver or even a neighbor down the street, you know, if it's just one person dealing one-on-one -on -one with mm -hmm. a person who has memory issues, then both for the person with memory issues and for the for the person dealing with them, it gets, I don't want to say it gets boring, you know, but it's like, it's all this, always the same person. And so right. that relationship can be really bad. But the notion of having a place that folks can come and get together, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, can, and among other things, so the set of players who have memory issues and therefore may be kind of nervous about that, can be with a group of people who also have memory issues, mm -hmm. right? And therefore feel kind of more safe. Just seems like a great idea. So, so before we talk idea. about how it's going there, t t just tell us again, one of the hours when people who wanted to participate in this would go to Northboro. 
So the hours are 11.30 to 2.30. And what, and what day of the week do you do it? We do it on Tuesdays. Yeah. And then and, um, and, there's, Hudson, and Hudson, you said Hudson and Marlboro is, also do it. Yep, yeah. um, Marlboro is Wednesdays, yeah. and then Hudson is Thursdays. And for folks even who are living in in Northboro who are seniors, yeah. can they go to any of any of those? Right. I think one of the things that Janice found was people loved the three hours, but wouldn't it be great if they could have more hours during the week? Yeah. This is what makes it a fabulous program too. So people can go to any of these towns, any of these communities and have daybreak on and those have, three days on those three days and that's of course nine hours of um, of respite time right. and it's nine hours of quality activities for the for, person for the person who is yeah. there and so among the other things you know Janice had been running her program but you needed someone to actually do this right it sounds all terrific yeah except it, you know so true. who's gonna make the trains run here and and so you found well, it, it, before I, I come to the drum roll here, yeah, yeah. Um, I do want to mention that it is funded through Metro West Health Foundation. We do um, ask for a donation of $15 per day to yeah. participate, although yeah. it's not necessary. But we got together, the three of us, the three directors, and we went out to find somebody as terrific as Lisa Gardner is in Hudson, yeah. um, and we found her in Christine D'Angelo. And she is the facilitator in both Northboro and Marlboro, and we're absolutely thrilled to have her. And she's got great volunteers, Susan and Diana, that work with her. And um, it's been just the, one of the greatest things we've done at the Senior Center. So now, duh, 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 duh. thank you. So I was Christine, hoping you'd do that. Um, so first of all, kind of, how did you come to be to to do this, or to want to do this, or to hear about this? Are you a Northboro person? How did you know about the and 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 then and, and what are the, and what then talk about how it works, how the program works, who the people are, how, what's worked, what you know, what how, what's what's good, what's bad about the vault. Just tell us about the program. Absolutely. Because I think for people who are watching, there may be a lot of people who may even have heard about this, and they're kind of going, eh. I don't know. <laughs> so we want to know. Sure. Right. First of all, Arthur, thank you for having me today. I'm so excited to be here because I really want to get the word out about Daybreak. I think it's such a valuable program that so many people can benefit from. And um, I hope that the listeners today get a better idea of what we have to offer. And the ones that could benefit from it, I hope they do come in and give us a try. Because yeah. um, we do have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, and. My background is I'm a certified dementia practitioner. Mm -hmm. I really love working with um, this population. I get a lot out of it and I feel good about what I do because I think I make a difference in people's lives. Not only for the caregiver, but for the people with um, the dementia. Right. So right. You're really touching people who are in otherwise really stressful places and really help them. Right, and yeah. um, I get to share a lot of smiles with them, and it feels great to know that I'm making a difference in their days. So um, I feel fortunate to have so been hired. So did tell you you have a great smile? <laughs> <laughs> oh, really thank you, Arthur. This job. This thank you. Um, so I started the Daybreak program in April, the middle of April, for both Northboro and Marlboro, and I was able to learn a lot from what was going right at Daybreak in Hudson because they've been running that program for a number of years. So I've been fortunate to learn from Lisa Gardner and Janice, who's the Senior Center Director in Hudson. Yeah, so I had so, yeah. a lot of people that could help me along the way to make Northboro and Marlboro successful, and I have a background um, in this type of work anyway. So, um, so tell, anyway. Tell us how the program, what is the day like? Let me, yeah. let me get to that then, because this is I didn't the important to part. <laughs> is it, you know, we start the program at 11.30, and people will come in and socialize. They'll get to chat with each other, and we talk with them too, and we'll have um, different activities for them to do before lunch comes. Lunch mm -hmm. will get there about 12.15 or 12.30. Mm -hmm. And some of the things that we like to start the day with are crossword puzzles, coloring, word scrambles, those kind of activities that um, they can do while they talk to each other mm -hmm. and, and share um, laughs and, and how the week went previously for everyone, what they have going on. Lunch comes, and lunch is amazing. We're so fortunate at Daybreak <laughs> in Northboro to have the bistro, and Vicki provides wonderful meals for um, the people that are with us. Oh, and by the way, just, can I just ask, so when the program is going, is this, an, where, where does it happen in the Senior Center, and then 
and then are the meals provided right there? How, how does that part work? We have, I think, the most beautiful room <laughs> in the senior center. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a nice, bright room. It's spacious yeah. with beautiful windows. Um, so it very, feels very warm and welcoming. That senior center has some of the best views. It's right? just I mean, absolutely yeah. stunning. I mean, yeah. it makes you feel good just being there, all the light that's there. And then we have the bistro, which is right on site. So we um, have lunch menus, and they get to pick what they'd like f for mm -hmm. lunch from this menu. And Vicki takes care of it. And um, Half an hour later, lunch <laughs> is served. It's wonderful. And oftentimes there's ice cream for dessert. Mm. You know, that's the best time to go. Yeah, that's say. the best time. <laughs> that's don't, right. We don't get any complaints. And um, it's a wonderful program, their bistro. And then after lunch, I like to get everybody up and moving around just because they've been sitting in the seat for a while. So oftentimes we'll get up and do some exercising, not anything too strenuous, but mm -hmm. may stand up behind the chair and you know stretch our necks you know, do some arm movements, some leg movements, leg stretches, and then yeah. sit back down. I don't want them up too long, getting tired, and then just, you know, work on some lower body muscles like their calves or shins or ankles. Um, mm -hmm. That's one thing that we'll do after lunch. Other times we'll not do um, the chair exercises, but we'll go do a game that they get up and they walk to, and maybe it's ring toss or um, cornhole or something like that that gets them up and moving. And then we might move into um, something else like a, a game we call Big Little, which is a word game where we take a long 15-letter word and break it up into as many mm. smaller words as we can. And um, a lot of times we'll sing. We have um, CDs that we play that we have yeah. lyric books for yeah. so that they have the words right in front of them. They can just read the words. It's really fun. I have bells for instruments and um, shake those to the mu music. Um, and I see a lot of people laughing and smiling during the singing. Um, one thing I do want to say is we follow a similar structure from week to week, but every week is different. Mm -hmm. So we're similar in that when we get there, we do coloring or some other type of worksheet, whether it's word scramble or um, word search, crossword puzzle. Um, we always have lunch. Um, I like to get up and have some kind of exercise, whether it's a game or um, structured exercise. So those things are pretty much similar every yeah. week, but then we rotate in different types of games that we do, or um, a lot of times we'll play bingo. Bingo's a big hit. We have prizes, we have special bingo cards that are large enough for them to see with yeah. bingo chips, and bingo's a big hit. The prize is always good. The prize, prize is, is good. good, you it's can't go good. wrong. and. Um, Every week we also have a two o'clock snack time. And the snack varies from week to week. Hmm. Um, and then they go home at 2.30. Oh, go no, go, I'm no, sorry, no. Arthur. <laughs> no. I was thinking in terms of um, when people, sometimes people wonder, I'm not sure my mom, this is right for her or that kind of thing. And I think the thing that we find too is that Daybreak is for everyone that might be on, again, that journey of dementia. And they can do as much or as little as they want to do. Nobody's forced into um, playing a certain game, yes. but they can. I'm glad you brought that up, Kelly, because um, I'll give an example. Everyone has different likes and dislikes, whether you have dementia or not. Mm -hmm. And our group is small, so we're not going to break people up into groups based on what they like to do, but I like yep. to try to give each individual an activity that they'll enjoy and benefit from. So I know one man is really interested in airplanes, mm. so I like to have things that are airplane related. Or I know that this other um, gentleman is really good with math, so I had a math crossword puzzle for him this week, which he seemed to enjoy. Some people just like to color, so I'll have certain coloring sheets that tie in with the time of year it is or the month that it is. Um, so I do try to structure the program for the individuals as best I can. And the more I get to know them, the better I can do that. And I suppose one of the real advantages that you have now is the program is you can accommodate. You know, the program is fairly small. And you can re but I suppose that ultimately that's, that's the gift that you bring to the program, is that willingness to really try to understand each of the people who are there and to try to understand what they like, what their background was, and therefore, you know, what what kinds of things would automatically draw their attention, 
and you're able to give that to everybody. I hope right? so. That's what I strive for. I and want I, people to be happy. It, exactly. And I think that's what makes the volunteers very important. You know, the senior center, I often say, will run on volunteers. Right. You know, Christine's very fortunate to have great volunteers so that that helps too with individualizing something. Oh, I, I um, have to just agree talk, with you. I love my about, volunteers. Can we talk about I them? mean, <laughs> of course. Yeah. So I have Diana. Um, and I have Susan, and yeah. they're both wonderful. They know, now that we've been together since April, it's now long they, enough where they just- Are these both like local se seniors, right? They're, they're, uh, they, I wouldn't they call in? them seniors quite yet, but they're just, they both live in Northboro, mm -hmm. um, and they're just so helpful and friendly, yeah. and they wanna be there, and they um, interact with all of our people that are with us yeah. so well. But Diana jumps in and she likes to handle the, you know, helping them with the lunch, getting the lunch out or the snack out. And yeah. she has her groove going on. And Susan helps with all the activities and knows exactly what to do and when I may need, need assistance. Mm -hmm. But having the volunteers really helps because then it's more one-on-one -on -one time with each person. If right. somebody may be struggling with a word search, we could, you know, one, either myself or one of the volunteers can sit right next to them and, you know, help them succeed with the and word help. search. Right. And, oh, so let, actually that brings up an interesting thing because I know one of the reasons why we wanted to do this show is we wanted folks who may have some memory problems or, or who, are, who are basically with someone with memory problems a lot to know about the program, but we also want volunteers to know about the program. How, how, do, you, how do you find volunteers? Do people just show up at the senior center and say, <laughs> You know, please, let me do something. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, they that, do. Because, because I notice whenever I'm over there, there's a ton. You have there, a ton yeah, of volunteers. Yeah, it's, it's a busy place, so we need yeah. all of those volunteers, and I can't say enough about them. Um, but some people ha have come in um, and to talk to Jocelyn, who's our outreach coordinator, but also wears the hat of volunteer coordinator. Oh, oh, oh. And um, she's publicized. We use the newsletter to recruit some folks. Yeah. And um, we really want that experience for the volunteer to be good, too. Yeah. Um, people are happier when they're delivering quality services. They feel like they are part of the senior center. Right. Um, and, and Susan and Diana really fit that bill. That, that's the, the, so, so. And so how did they show up? I mean, let me put it a different way. <laughs> Let me think, put this a different way. Were they already volunteers before this program happened? Neither one of them no. were volunteers. No. Um, so so did they volunteer because they heard about this program or they, or they just came in to volunteer in general and got attracted to the program? I, th I think in one case, um, Christine knew um, the volunteer uh, and knew that she'd be perfect at it. In the other case, it was uh, she was new to town and kind of looking for how can I contribute, but yet start to know people in town. Right. And and that's and that's worked out fabulously. Right. Because so. I guess that's also a message, right? That that that, that there's always that kind of opportunity. Yes. That's yes. happening down there. Cause yeah. Right. And there's a variety of things to do. So. Um, if, if something doesn't feel right, then you can always switch to something can, else. Right. So it's, right. And so it's from, nice from, in that way. from your perspective going forward, right? Now this is, this. You now I say, it, not that it's been running for a long time. How long <laughs> have you been going now? For daybreak, it's yeah. been since the middle of April. Oh, it has been for a while now. That's great. Yeah, it has. That's and great. It's and it's it been, is. It's been fabulous, like I've said. So. Right. And, and I know that we've, you know, I've heard of, you know, folks, some folks that just come to one some folks go to all of them. Yes. I know. I know. It was well earlier today. Actually, we were over in uh, in Marlboro talking to Trish Pope, your counterpart in mm -hmm. Marlboro, who said there was one there's one lady who who makes a contribution every place that she goes. Oh, and I suppose we should mention that the while it's free, you know, yeah. If there's a, if you can make a donation, that's great, right? But she said she always makes a donation, and and I think it was did you go talk to her? The Trish then said, you know, you don't always have to do this. And she said, I want to do this. You know, I'd rather, you know, if it, if it, if it was this or having food in the house, I'd rather pay for this. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is just so important. It's, it it's, just, uh, it's gratifying. If it, it, the caregiver or the care partner feels that way. And then the, the other thing for me, of course, is walking into the room and seeing people really engaged yeah. and really happy. And you know, and that, and that, that's you know, what more that, could you that, want? That's very gratifying. <laughs> it's very so, gratifying. So, from your yeah. perspective as a senior center director, what more could you want? So, what, one of the things you know, uh, you don't Churchill. have the time for all the things that I want, <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> but in terms of this program, mm -hmm. like one of the things I, that 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 you know, I wonder is so, is this program would it be better if it were longer? 
Would it be better if there were more days? From your perspective, having watched it now for a few months, how do you imagine this playing out? Or, and, and, and I guess this one answers itself, but do you think this is a keeper? Do you think this mm -hmm. is a program that you really want to keep at the same time? Yeah, well, part of the grant helps us with that too. So that uh, surveys are given out to the care oh, partners oh, oh. And with exactly those kind of questions, you know, so that we get that feedback and that's that's real data that we can use going forward. I, th I you know, without a doubt, I'd say it's a keeper. Yeah. And I think that, um, again, the other thing that the program provides is um, a way to dismiss that stigma that people sometimes feel like, you know, they have to stay in their house because they have dementia. And, and we have seen through daybreak that that's not the case. They can, they, they can have meaningful activities and engagement and socialization, um, and, and I'd only want to see that grow. And you just want to see it grow. Absolutely. So, so, so I'm curious too, as far as the reaction of other people at the senior center, because as mm -hmm. you say, it's a bustling place. There's a lot of people. Right. Have, have you gotten any comments from the other volunteers or the other folks who are using mm -hmm. the senior center? Because this is obviously a, you know, a, a new program, right? And one involving some people who've got some, who've got have maybe having some problems, right? Yeah, I think it's been wonderful. People have really um, enjoyed seeing the program. I think that there's so many people that have, you know, my brother has dementia, my right. my sister-in-law, and this is great because I know what their care partner has been dealing with, and now that this program has come about. The other really nice thing is that the friends have embraced it. The friends right now are paying for um, a, a staff for va for the bistro because the bistro has been so successful. We're, we're growing that, which and astonished so, me when you first told me that 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 whole thing has grown from scratch. It really on like no yeah. town money, right? Yeah. It's no been, town money. It's right. been the friends yeah. of the senior center that they that, they gave us the initial thousand dollars to get the food and supplies. Then they gave us about a year of a of a manager, um, the wages for the manager, right. which and is always then, the big expense. Yes, right? and people um, at this expense. yeah. Yeah, and um, and so that, but we now we run on our own revenues. Up until this point, now we're going to try to um, to to get the revenues going again through that gift that we have from yeah. the friends, yeah. and then hopefully we'll, the revenues will absorb this position as well. And and the friends have made a commitment through the grant. They wrote a letter right away when we did the application because they want to see this daybreak. And it, the vice chair Henry Squalante came to me and said, you know. This is a great program we have running right. here. We're so in. We're, they're yeah, they're we're in. really in, which is yeah, terrific. It, it's wonderful. The team was, approach is the best. And that was one of your grant responsibilities, right, is when you, you, you were committing right. that you were going to go find the local funds, and you've kind of found them kind of instantly, which is all, that's, yeah, that's pretty a, terrific. They're, a great, they're yeah. a great group of friends to have. That's pretty <laughs> terrific. So, so you, know that, you know that that's going to be continuing. And, and do you feel, or and do you both feel in terms of the length of the day, is that about right? You know, the 11.30 to 2.30 is about a right, and I the time of day, perfect. that all works? Yeah. I would say it's perfect. Yeah. And, and, and one of the things I think that, I can't remember if you mentioned it during the show or, or before, is you mentioned this is also open it's certainly open to the people in those three communities but mm -hmm. it's also open to just other seniors right who right. could kind of wander in so someone from westboro or from southboro well, we have somebody from westboro yes right who is coming over so. right. and and that's, that's probably great. gonna you know lead to those folks at those senior centers kind of thinking about that because as you as you had mentioned one of the things that that well i know that the lady who had said this is really important mm -hmm. you know the the notion that you could always know, like any day, that you can literally get out of the house, mm -hmm. right? And, and it's gonna be close by, right? Mm -hmm. and, you can, it, and you can be there and your loved one's gonna be safe, right? Mm -hmm. That's a wonderful thing. It is. So, I just wanna say that for the people that come to our program, they will be safe and they will be happy. And when you pick them up from the program, just see the smiles on their faces. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, don't necessarily ask them what did you do today, but just look and you know see if they seem happy, if they've enjoyed the morning, you know, the right. day with us. Because the question is not, do you remember what you did today? Right. The it's, question yeah. is how it's, you feeling. Yeah. Right. Because you your feeling? feelings, you're not going to lose that till the very end. Your feelings are always there. Exactly. So. Exactly. So thank you very much. So just Kelly, and I'm just mm -hmm. going to I don't not say I'm put you on the spot, but so I'm just curious. So this is our monthly show. So what's going on in the senior center now? Oh, there's right? lots going on. This, 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 anything this special month, this month? And, there, and we're, we're filming in August 2nd. So anything special this month? Yes. Uh, well, August 15th, we're going to have an honoring choices slash ice cream social to get all of those documents that you well know about 
um, yeah. in order. Everybody over 18 should do this. It's not just a senior thing. Um, but if you can talk about something as serious as those forms and have an ice cream sundae, what could be better <laughs> in terrific. August, right? That's terrific. That's so pretty August exciting. 15th. Um, so it's so ice cream up. and ice cream and healthcare proxies right. and honoring choices. <laughs> exactly. Not terrific. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's all wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, so. listen, thank you very, very much, Christine, for coming. And thanks you for, for what you're doing. I think, as I said before we started, I think the importance of you being here is so that people can get a sense, not just of a program, but of you because mm -hmm. they're going and you're there, right? That's right. And so I think this makes it a lot easier for a whole lot of folks. Thank you. And mm -hmm. uh, always a pleasure. Same always here. a pleasure. Yeah, same here. Thank and you, Arthur. Thank you for uh, watching, and we'll see you next month in the next installment of uh, my friends Frank and Mary in Northbrook. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.